Welcome to Daily Armor. Today we're going to be in Isaiah chapter 55, looking at verses 8 through 9, chapter 55 of Isaiah, and looking at verses 8 through 9. I just been um, pondering, even mentioned this this morning, um, about how, you know, I have to really be careful about how I look at things, about how I make decisions, because I have a tendency to um, things are kind of black and white or obvious, or I'm, you know, assessing things by what I can see. But as we know all too well, um, um, his ways are different than our ways. His thought process is different than our thought process. Um, and we have scripture to back that up. So let's look at Isaiah 55 and 8 and 9. And it says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. This is what the Lord says himself. He says, you don't think the way I think. You don't do things the way I do things. It's not going to make sense to you. You have to walk by faith and not by sight. And he's got some, he's got some um, things for us to do. And we'll be talking about that, Lord willing, um, in the next several, you know, seven or eight days. Um, we'll be talking about those things. But um, concentrating on what he is saying. He is, he says, I say it again, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are my ways, your, your, my ways, neither are your ways, my ways, saith the Lord. Verse number nine, for as the heavens are higher than the earth, the heavens are higher than the earth. He's, he's saying, you got to quit thinking with earthly. You got to quit thinking this way. You got to, you got to push aside the way you think about things. Don't assume I'm really, really bad to assume things um, because of what I'm seeing, because of what I'm hearing, because of what I'm feeling. Um, and I'm, I assume things. Um, but the Lord doesn't. He's really, really... I'm a planner. Um, I like to plan things out. I like to even... I mean, I will look at the year in advance. You know, at, at, advance. Now... I used to like to plan out the next five years, the next 10 years, looking down the road. I really liked doing that. But through my walk with the Lord, I have learned to not focus so much on five and 10 years out as much, um, but to look at a year at a time, you know, and, you know, what, what do, you know, what does this year, what's it going to look like to where he's got to me where, just go with what I've got you doing right now. What I've got you doing this month. Don't think, don't worry about next month. What do I want you to do this month, this week, down to this day? This day right here. I, I had other things I thought was going to take place and completely was blindsided by something, something else. Um, and as I was thinking about that, I'm like, you know, Lord, this is not how I thought this day was going to go. I already played it over in my mind because remember, I, I'm a planner. I already went through over my mind and this is what I'm going to do here and this is what I'm going to do there. And then blah, blah, blah. You know, I kind of had my day planned out just for the last minute. I mean, getting ready to take my shower last minute and my day changed. I mean, just completely changed into where I'm like, now I have no idea. Now, as a planner, I love to plan things out, but I am also love adventures and change, uh, you know, uh, so, something unknown. I like, I like to go. I like to do. And so as I'm planning, um, it, it's not always that I'm upset by the changes. It's just, you know, I'm like, okay, well, that's not what I had planned, but we'll roll with this. And that is absolutely probably the the most important thing that God has is is teaching me constantly showing me is to just gonna have to keep rolling with the changes in your life because his thoughts are not my thoughts his ways are not my ways um, for as much if I look at the verse number nine for as the heavens are higher than the earth so are my ways higher than your ways. And my thoughts than your thoughts. He's reminding us that we're thinking earthly. Um, we may be thinking um, logically, kind of like black and white. Um, and the Lord's saying, you you don't know about, you know, you have forgotten some of the past. You don't have any control over your present. You absolutely don't know a thing about your future. But he's also reminding us that, that what I do affects others. 
And I don't even realize that, but he does. And he's in control. That's why that's why he's the one that has the plan. He's my creator. He's your creator. He, he's made all this. And he wants us to walk by faith and not by sight. He wants us to quit thinking and quit assuming, or me. He's so that's what he's wanting for me. He's wanting me to quit assuming, um, quit basing any kind of decision um, or goal or whatever. Quit basing it on the way that I, with what I see, with what I'm hearing, um, with what I'm feeling. He wants me to push aside all that. Um, even down to, um, I was speaking to, uh, uh, Todd this morning and I said, you know, I said, I've, I've got to where I was getting a little confident with teaching, especially teaching as many years as I've been teaching and, and kind of in the same age group to where I may actually have taught the same lessons several times because we, uh, the curriculum that we've been, that I, that we use at our church here at First Baptist Oklahoma is the same curriculum that I was introduced to, to teach from at Laurel Hill Baptist Church. So I've been familiar with this, with these books. And so I've, we've been doing this, um, um, you know, for over 20 years, I've been kind of working with this same, these same books and these same lessons. And I was, you know, as I was like, you know what, Lord, I'm getting a little too confident. I'm getting a little bit too much in a rut, a little too much in a routine. And now I'm asking, Lord, these are the same lessons I've taught several times. And I'm like, but Lord, what do you want me to pull out? What do you want me to do with this lesson that might be different than what I did before? What do you want me to focus on? Because why? Because I don't know what any of these of the kids need. I don't know what any of the youth needs. I don't even know what I need, but he does. And so as I'm you know, going through my thought process of, okay, oh, well, this is the way I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that. And I'm going to do this. And, and we're going to get through every one of these scriptures. Sometimes he only has me focus on a section of a lesson um, and, and to stop and take my time. And so as I'm thinking about just in those things, and then we, you turn around and I'm trying to apply that to my everyday life. Um, he's showing me so many times, don't quit thinking about the way you think about things, quit, you know, quit making decisions based on what you see and what you hear and what you feel. But how do we, how, so how do we know what to do? We have to look for that word from God and we have to listen to that. We have to be anticipating that we're going to get um, instructions from him. And then no matter what, be, no matter what, no matter how much it makes sense or doesn't make sense, um, and it's not going to always make sense at all, but definitely what he's got planned is way better, way better. And so I'm pushing aside the way I think about things, the what, what I want to do. I'm pushing aside what, what I'm seeing, what I'm hearing, what I'm feeling, what I want, because I want his will to be done. And no matter how crazy, no matter how it doesn't make any sense, you know, no matter how many times I say, Lord, why would you do this? I have to say, Lord, I don't know why you're doing this, but I trust you and I follow you and I, I'm going to push aside the, what I feel about it, what I think about it, the way I would do it. It's not the way I would do it, but the way I would do it would just be a mess anyway. Um, and as we go into the next several, seven or eight days, I'm going to be in the book of Deuteronomy um, skipping around through it a little bit. Um, and we're going to be talking about some ways um, that he's got, that he says he wants us to do some things his way. And we're going to be talking about that. He's going to be, um, you know, pressing that in, in my heart and in my life and, and pushing me to, to, to follow him even, um, even more specifically, even uh, closer, a closer walk with thee, a closer walk with thee. Thank you for joining me. I look forward to seeing you again soon.